we are going to make something with our barbecue sauce we just made. Um, it's about to be 4th of July. It's not today. Thank goodness because it started raining outside. It is going to be in a couple of days. But I want to go on and get this done so I can just be around my family. And not be all tired and stressed because I've been a cooking and a cooking. So this is what I do. I start prior to, you know. Um, I am going to do pulled pork sandwiches. Ugh. <laughs> Y'all see this big old thing of meat? This is Boston, uh, not Boston, these are uh, pork butt roast, which are actually shoulder roast. So you can look for both of those in the store. Or sometimes the one I picked up was a little small one. I picked up two little small ones. They were about three and a half pounds a piece. I think one was right at four. And it was called a picnic roast. But it's these pieces of pork meat that has... Um, lots of fat marbling through it and what i do to make it cook faster for us is i cut it up in big nice fist sized pieces like that and put over in the crock pot then it doesn't have to just cook and cook and cook and cook and cook um to get all the way through and all our sauce our barbecue sauce we put on it's going to get penetrated into all of it so i love that about it yes i do i'm going to start putting this in here guys and like I say, I bought one was three and a half pounds, small little picnic roast. So you could do that for yourself or just you and your significant other or friend. Um, you don't have to do this. Just I'm feeding all the kids and the grandkids. So we got to have, we got to have lots and lots and lots of meat. And something I'm doing is just taking a little bit of salt and kind of salting that layer. And I'll do the same. That's a lot of meat, right? hope my crock pot's big enough for all this I really do yes I do and I love this um, doing it smaller it lets me be able to handle it easier and like I say it'll get done a lot faster and I love the crock pot during the summer because it doesn't get your kitchen all hot it's just great and wonderful yes it is alright guys here we go I'm going to put a little bit of salt here on this this layer there now get rid of that and something I want to tell y'all I did spray this some non-stick cooking spray on my crock pot before I got started and I know y'all say I ain't use a baggie but y'all I'm the type that thing's going in some hot soapy water when I get through so no sense in me bothering with a baggie right that's just how I am okay these are the things I do for this um, something I want to tell you a lot of times I do for John and me is I just get a small little pork loin, you know, and it's real lean and doesn't have all this nice marbling fat because that's flavor. That's what that is. Um, I'll just get a small little pork loin and put it in one of my smaller crock pots with one cup beef broth and one cup of the barbecue sauce. And so you can make it much smaller than this if you want to, but I love these pork butts. Um, these picnic roasts because they've got lots and lots of fat in them but we're going to use two cups of our barbecue sauce we made on another video Woo! and it's still hot y'all see that isn't that fabulous it's just a steaming and the jar is hot and if you don't if you don't have that homemade barbecue sauce like we did together get you some store-bought your favorite kind don't let that stop you I've done that many times I don't always have homemade barbecue sauce guys no I don't and this is going to be two cups of beef broth that I'm pouring in here. Possibly. Possibly. Yes. <laughs> and that's all that can go into this pot. And I'm going to put a little more liquid smoke. So hang on just a second. Okay, guys. And I'm going to put just a couple of tablespoons of... Um, liquid smoke i know i put it in the barbecue sauce but i want it to be a little more smoky for us doing this it'll kind of mimic you know that we've been working out in that heat with a fire going and smoke right yeah that's what i love now i'm going to cover this and i can turn this on high i'm going to mow the yard i want the yard to be nice and freshly mowed um before everybody comes here in a couple of days but it's going to have to quit raining. It's just a shower though. So I'm hoping it stops. But this I will put on high. And I will let it go. Six to eight hours. Or 
if it gets tender within six then I'm done and that's what I want to tell you I go on and stick it on high because I want these little uh, this pork butt to really get to cooking and get tender that's what I'm telling you though is um, when you can pull a piece of it out and you literally can pull it apart with your fingers or a fork if it's too hot then you know it's done okay because each piece of meat is going to be different that we all get and everything but I know for about six hours this is going to go on high okay y'all see how pretty our meat has turned out um, it's just gorgeous and beautiful. It smells so good down in here. I am first thing dipping off some of this fat that has floated to the top. It has flavored all of our meat and kept it nice and juicy. And it has done what it needs to do. And so I want to get some out of here so it'll just be that nice barbecue juice and some of the pork broth left. This get warm on my fingers. Yes, it is. I'm going to spoon this out. Finish just the top. Just kind of take your spoon and just push down a bit. And that, that oil, that fat, will fill up your spoon. And you can get it right off the top. Just skim it right off the top of our meat, okay? That's what I'm going to continue doing till I get most try to get all but I'll get most of it all right y'all I've dipped out all our beautiful beautiful meat here it is so tender falling apart I've got one last piece left to go I got back on here with y'all yes I did put that there I love a crock pot because it cooked on high for six hours and then it turned itself down onto warm so it kept this nice and warm for me to get back in here after I did lots of other chores and it's like somebody else is in the kitchen cooking for me is that not fabulous i just love a little crock pot it's so simple it uses so little electricity and doesn't get your kitchen all hot and it's in there turning stuff on high and then turning it down on warm like i say it's like i've got somebody else in the kitchen for me and i need me some help occasionally do y'all okay now i just strained my juice y'all saw i dipped most of the fat right off the top before I even got into it and I just strain it just because I don't want any like fat or grizzly or anything like that things in here you know I just like to give it a nice good little straining and all it looks like it has is some little giblets of meat so if you want to skip this step I won't I won't fuss to you no I won't sure will not <laughs> okay and also I'll let this sit and some more fat will come to the top and I can spoon that off too so it won't have much fat in it at all and I'm gonna let that get cooled down to room temp guys let me move this beautiful pork up here for us there we have it doesn't this look good I know I know I know I want to taste it don't don't you I do too. Let's get us a little bitty piece. That's part of being the cook. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So tender, so good, so flavorful. Let's see here. I need another fork. And literally, this is so tender you can pick it up and just totally break it apart, shred it with your finger. It's just hot, okay? So I'll take it just like this and I just begin to shred on it and I do look because most of your fat renders down but every once in a while uh, here and there I'm I'm picky I don't want a big old bite of fat you know so every once in a while if it's a big old fat cap like that I've got my bowl of fat right there I do take it out so that way we just got pure pure pork after this and I'm going to continue with this. And then I'll come back and I'll show you how I'm going to serve this up, guys. I am pouring up our barbecue sauce that we homemade together on a previous video. And if you didn't have time to make this or you don't feel like it, you don't have to. Just buy you some store-bought. Y'all see I'm pouring some 
this is a big old jar I have that I put it in in my refrigerator and then I'm also putting some in this little bitty crock pot and we can use it poolside tomorrow for our sandwiches let me get a lid on this I totally let this barbecue sauce also cool down room temp for our refrigerated okay just saying that yes I am so see I've got some barbecue sauce in here and this is a little bitty crock pot as y'all see and I can put him in the refrigerator not in his electric part and he can cook up tomorrow for us I had his little lid well well as usual Amy's hidden it from herself but anyway this can go poolside too along with our pork and they're in these little containers I will in the morning I'll start this on low heating up okay before John and I head off to church and I will also start this one on low of our meat look at all our pulled pork meat um what else I will do guys I'm trying to stay where all of y'all can see this I'll take some of this juice that we drained that it was cooking in and I'll put one or two cups that's totally up to you just for some moisture I'm just gonna put one cup is what I'm gonna do because then we've got the barbecue to spoon on top I will do that in the morning let it get good and heated while we're at church and then in the afternoon when we swim and get ready to celebrate 4th of July this is how I'm gonna serve it up I've got hamburger buns and I've got some of these sweet Hawaiian buns yum those are delicious aren't they especially with some barbecue pork I know so I'm going to use a sweet Hawaiian bun see how it looks it's even got a yellowy color to it I love and you just spoon you some on here or fork you some on here I should say shouldn't I yes I should y'all know I've got to do this and take a picture this might be me a, a pre-treat before tomorrow right yes put as much as you want to and then we'll have this barbecue sauce let me get this moved out of the way y'all y'all there we go you sit right there and be pretty I'll be back to you in just a second let me find me a little spoon guys I'll have a bigger spoon for us tomorrow with my family get my pork up here because I want to come show y'all how beautiful this is then I'm going to spoon some barbecue sauce over it. I'm going to make some barbecue beans with this barbecue sauce too. And I might do potato salad and I might just do some chips. Like I say, I want to spend some time with my family. Yummy. Y'all want me to come show y'all up close? I'm coming. I'm coming. Yum. Is that not beautiful? <laughs> yes it is I know it I know it okay y'all I have taken up enough of y'all's time it's time for y'all to go get ready to do whatever you're gonna do with your family or your friends this weekend and I hope it's something special or I hope it's just a special thought you can have so um till I see y'all next time I love y'all all this card that Sarah had sent me with her daughter's sweet book has Hebrews 619 on there just just that so I said well let's just look that up and that's gonna be our Bible verse of the day and we'll just do a small little devotion on it because it's such a sweet verse um, it says we have this hope as an anchor for the soul firm and secure and so then I went a little further and I looked that up and it says the anchor is a reminder that Jesus has me anchored in him just as an anchor secures a ship Jesus secures our soul that's beautiful isn't it the anchor must be connected to the ship in order for it to do its job to stabilize so true Jesus wants to be our anchor in the storms of life and he longs for us to be connected to him and I love that I think that's beautiful beautiful and connected to him he does anchor us in those storms and and stabilize us doesn't he, he does um, 
And so I just wanted to share that little verse. I had got over here a little too early, Sarah, and I saw you had a little verse on there, and I love that. And I said, that'll be our verse today. Um, and Amelia, you know, she made the most out of her life is what she did. She did. And so she can be a testament to all of us to make the most out of our life because we're not promised um, a long, long life here, are we? Nope. We're just a little dash. I had a... I listened to a preacher one year and he said we're that little dash when you look at us on our grave stone it says from this year dash to that year that that's how fast our life goes by is just like that little dash and that is the truth so I'm so um I'm just so tickled she made the most out of her little dash yes she did um, but anyway guys I'm really gonna get off here this time I might stay away who knows with me the sun has popped back out, so i got to get myself out there and get this yard mode. <laughs> so I will see y'all later. I just went out and checked my mail, and this came in today. It came from Sarah, and she lives in North Carolina. She lives in a beautiful, gorgeous state. She sure does. And I'm going to save that because I saved your address, Sarah. Um, she sent me this sweet book and this little card. This card says, Dear Amy, thank you so much for all you share with us. Enjoy getting to know you and your family. I thought you might enjoy reading my daughter's book. <gasps> How neat. If not a reader, pass on to someone else. Girl, I'm a reader. Yes, I am. I love to read. I'll just get all in the story like I'm in the book. It's so wonderful to hear you talk about your faith. So refreshing. Thank you. Have a great day. Love, Sarah. Thank you so much, Sarah. What a sweet, sweet, kind thing. And this book says, My Life a Little Off Balance, Living and Dying with Cerebral Palsy. And this is by her daughter, Amelia. Um, isn't that amazing? Girl, I, this is so sweet. And this is so near and dear to me. This is just... I. It just touched me so much there's a picture of Amelia here on the back and I want to show you all this book it says Amelia lived from 1985 to 2018 she was an accomplished blogger and booking agent for Hollywood comedians Wow in 2018 she received the alumni recognition award from her alum alma mater Columbia International University that is out of sight. She has left a fabulous mark on this world, hasn't she? She certainly has. And I am a reader, and I cannot wait. I looked through it a little bit before I got on here. I couldn't help myself. What I do is in the morning after I go let out my chickens and check my eggs and feed my chickens, uh, gather my eggs, not check them, I get my Bible and my coffee, and I sit on the porch, and I read my Bible first. And then I read some little books like this. I'll read a little bit. And one of them I have is another one. It's a Mitford series. And it's Father Tim's and all his sermons at, that my sweet friend Bridget gave me. And I read a little bit of it after I've read the Bible. And this is going in my stack as well. And yes, I'm reading every last word of this. And I'm excited to get into it. I know I'm going to laugh and I know I'm going to cry. And it's really going to touch my heart. And girl... The fact that you're sharing this with me makes me want to cry and really touches my heart and I thank you so very much for it.